This is a 7 inch scotch recording tape reel. It's been recorded on. And the uh, gentleman that recorded on it was very meticulous. He even stated uh, what type of deck he recorded it on, the date, and what was on it. And I received uh, a couple of boxes full of these tapes. And I put them up for sale and this one sold, this is the first one to sell. Sold for $10. Okay, this is a vintage Robin's head demagnetizer. It's not a uh, cassette tape uh, bulk eraser. This is actually for a recording head de uh, to demagnetize a recording head. You could also use it to uh, demagnetize uh, like a screwdriver or something like that as well. And uh, again, no cost to me, and it sold for $30. This is a pair of Minolta binoculars. Came with the Minolta case. Seem to find these at every estate sale I go to. Pick them up when they're cheap enough because sometimes they don't sell for a lot. These uh, I bought for about eight or nine dollars and I got 60 for them. This is just a uh, owner's manual for a Pioneer 8-track recorder. This was given to me along with a bunch of other manuals for older equipment and it sold for $25. This is a pair of vintage Koss headphones. Pretty good condition. Picked them up for a couple dollars and uh, had them listed for 40 and took a best offer of 25. This is a pair of ladies Harley Davidson boots. Wasn't sure if these were gonna sell or if how much luck I was gonna have with them as they are quite high chunky heels, but they do have these uh, five buckles. I actually bought these at Savers. I usually don't shop at Savers, but when they have a 50% off sale, I'll usually take a look. Picked these up for $6 and they sold for 60. This is a Philadelphia Police Graphic Arts Unit patch. I picked this up with a couple dozen patches that I bought last year. And uh, I had it up for sale for $20 and got an offer for 15 from a uh, sketch artist with the Philadelphia Police Department. So that was pretty cool. This is a beat up, I mean distressed, International Harvester belt buckle. So you can see it's got a nice big scratch on it, kind of worn. I picked up three or four of these at an antique show for about five dollars and this one sold for twenty dollars. This is uh, the second high-end turntable sale of the week. This is a Denon DP60L. Very fine turntable. I actually bought this at a pawn shop of all places. I bought it for $235. It needed a uh, tone arm weight, which I found for $65 on eBay. And I had it priced at $1,200 and I took an offer of $1,000 for it. Well, if you're thinking of packing a turntable, look what it does to your shipping room. Pretty much tore up. But that's what it takes. This is just the cover from a Ross World Master radio. I found this at a garage sale and I've seen these radios before and they bring some good money. So I thought, well, maybe somebody has a broken cover and needs it. Paid a dollar for it and it just sold for $30. This is three two packs of eight track recordable tape from 1976. Bicentennial, military bicentennial promotion. Pick these up with all the other tapes I've bought recently, just for a dollar or two. And uh, somebody bought them for $40. This is a Pioneer stereo receiver from the 70s that I found at a uh, garage sale. It was filthy when I found it. And uh, this front area here was all peeled, so I put some new veneer on there. Cleaned up all the switches and faceplate. And uh, it works just great. And it sold for $190. I believe I paid $10 for it at the garage sale. This is your classic woven picnic baskets made in Burlington, Iowa. 
has a few uh, plastic plates and the pie shelf. This took forever to sell. I bought it for $8 at a thrift store a couple years ago and I had it priced at $40 and finally got an offer of $30. This is another one of those Savers half price sale deals. Uh, I saw the logo on here and it interests me enough to look these up. They're iPath Cats. Apparently they're skateboard shoes that uh, skateboarders go crazy over. We got a couple little stains here and there and uh, some sock fuzz that, uh, as you know, is impossible to get out. Uh, no matter. I bought these for $4 and they sold for $80. This is a vintage pair of chameleon sunglasses made by Corningware. I found uh, these and uh, three other pair at a garage sale and I was able to uh, buy all of them for 50 cents each and they, this pair sold for $30. This is a set of uh, pastel raffia wear mugs. I remember these from my uh, childhood, childhood picnics we'd go on. These were inside a picnic basket and so they basically cost nothing and they sold for $50. They have this uh, nice burlap weave in the plastic. This is a Columbia fleece hat. It's got the uh, ear flaps. I uh, advertised it as a snowboarder's hat and it's uh, snowboarding season in Colorado for sure. And I picked this up for just a couple dollars at a garage sale and it sold for 30. I found this at an estate sale last Friday while rooting around in a cabinet. I came up with this and some microphones. I This doesn't have a name on it. It's a foot switch for an amplifier. I need that much for a guitar amplifier. And this uh, vinyl covering reminded me of the old Silvertone amplifiers. And so it took about two seconds of internet research. And sure enough, that's what it was. I bought this for $2 and it sold for $100. The denim shirt I picked up at a uh, charity sale, you know, for uh, $4 a bag kind of deal. It's got these three horses embossed on the back. A little research, I found the uh, company that made it, made in the USA. And somebody made an offer of $24. I had it listed for $30 and away it goes. This is a specialized vintage bicycle helmet. It's uh, actually fabric covered. And um, I have bought a few vintage bike helmets in the past. They do take a while to sell, but you can get them cheap. I bought this for $5 and it just sold on a best offer of 50. This is a Carhartt denim blue jean jacket. Picked it up at a thrift store for $4. Thought these uh, used to sell oh, a year ago or so for a little more, but uh, got full price at $40 for this. It's Budman, just a trucker hat. Got it probably for a nickel, along with a couple dozen other hats, and uh, this one sold for $30.